Welcome to the spoken tutorial on one shot instructions. In this tutorial, we will learn about one shot raising and one shot falling instructions. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC mainboard. 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of normal contact and normal coil. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect. SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Let us open LD Micro. First, we will see the working of an OSR instruction. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as switch. And Rename the coil as LED. Add an OSR instruction to the right of X switch. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Observe the state of X switch and Y LED in the IO list. Initially, the state of both X switch and Y LED are 0. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can notice that Y LED energizes for a brief moment. This is because OSR generates a pulse on each raising edge of its input signal. The pulse width is equal to 1 PLC scan cycle. For a close observation, let us increase the PLC cycle time. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Click on settings and then on MCU parameters. Change the cycle time to 3000 milliseconds. Now again, Start real time simulation. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe that within 3 seconds Y LED will get energized. Also, it stays energized for about 3 seconds. After that, change the state of X switch to 0. We can see that the falling edge has no effect on the state of Y LED. Turn off the simulation mode as shown. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Let the cycle time be 3000 milliseconds and change crystal frequency to 16 megahertz. Assign pin PC0 to X switch. Then assign pin PA0 to Y LED. Compile the logic as OSR.hex. Save the ladder diagram as OSR.LD as shown. We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. 
go to the folder where you have saved the hex file type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board turn off the power supply remove the usb asp connection from the laptop this will prevent any hardware damage let us see the connection details now connect ground pin of the red led of traffic light module to ground of the main board then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red led to pao0 pin of the main board connect ground and 5 volt of switchboard to ground and 5 volt of the main board respectively then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board make the connections as shown in the picture after making all the connections properly turn on the power supply press NO1 for about 3 seconds after releasing the switch NO1 the red led glows for about 3 seconds the time for which the led glows depends on plc cycle time or scan cycle turn off the power supply remove the connections made for this example now we will look at the working of osf instruction switch back to ld micro instead of creating a new file we will make changes in the previous file itself we will replace OSR with OSF instruction for that select OSR and then click edit delete selected element now to the right of x switch insert OSF as shown we will now check the working of this logic start real time simulation as shown Initially the state of both x switch and y led are zero now change the state of x switch to 1 we can observe there is no change in the state of y led change the state of x switch to zero we can observe that the state of y led changes to 1 for about 3 seconds remember that we have changed the cycle time to 3 seconds thus osf generates the pulse on each falling edge of its input signal note that rising edge doesn't have any effect on it turn off the simulation mode as shown now let us compile the logic we can observe that microcontroller and its parameters are already set pin assignment is also already done compile the logic as osf.hex using the compile as option save the ladder diagram as osf.ld using the save as option We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the main board to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Switch back to the terminal. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. remove the usb asp connection from the laptop this will prevent any hardware damage let us see the connection details now make the connections the same as in the osr example after making all the connections properly turn on the power supply press the switch no1 after the switch no1 is released we can observe that the red led glows for about 3 seconds thus 
the LED glows for PLC scan cycle time only after NO1 is released. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about one shot raising and one shot falling instructions. Try this assignment. Draw a ladder diagram to detect both raising and falling edge of the input signal. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.